Delta is the second biggest airline in the world and it's the first major carrier to say no to allowing passengers to carry knives of any kind on board its planes. The Flight Attendants Union Coalition, which represents some 90,000 flight attendants across the U.S., says it will fight this policy all the way to Congress if it has to. Flightians are absolutely angry. They're outraged about this. I don't think this policy can go into effect on April 25th. And you know what? We are going to spend every single day between now and then making sure that it doesn't. The Flight Attendants Coalition has already posted a petition on the White House website, We the People, objecting to the new policy. And since the TSA announcement, nearly 16,000 people have signed up. Their target is 100,000 signatures by April 5th. The TSA says it wants its officers to concentrate on dealing with tracing lethal weapons like liquid explosives. So come April 25th, pen knives with blades 60 millimeters or less in length, baseball bats that are less than 610 millimeters long, toy plastic bats, billiard cues, ski poles, hockey sticks, lacrosse sticks and two golf clubs can all be taken on board as hand luggage. But there are mixed feelings about the knives. TSA should be focusing on the highest end of the threat spectrum for sure. I'm not sure I would have jumped to, to allowing knives on planes. Oh my God, who's the hijacking? Most planes in the US have trained air marshals on board who are armed, but they're not on every flight, and that, so the attendants, is a problem. Flight attendants say they're the first line of defense if anything goes wrong during the flight, and the new TSA policy, they say, puts them at risk. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News.